This is a three-dimensional doodle design using cylinders and tonal values with overlapping. Um, so follow along and uh, get some ideas of how you are going to make your own design. We are going to use cylinders for a doodle three-dimensional design um, for this project. You're just going to start with simple cylinders and make them appear three-dimensional. There are different ways to make things appear three-dimensional. First of all, a cylinder looks three-dimensional because you have a slight oval or another word for oval is an ellipse over here the lines coming down and make sure that the bottom line is also curved this is very important it gives you the illusion of a cylinder or a tube the second way to make something appear three-dimensional is overlapping. So I'm going to overlap the first cylinder with my second cylinder. And then the third way to create something and give it the illusion of three dimension is to add shading. So you could just, if you don't have any special tools, this is all you need, pencil, eraser, and actually your finger. So let me show you one way and I'll show you another way shortly after. So, a cylinder usually has shading along the edges down the side of the cylinder. I'm going to rub my finger and rub the graphite into the paper. Um, a lot of people refer to a pencil as a lead pencil, but actually there's no lead in the pencil. Lead is a poison, so you would not put lead in a pencil. Pencils are made with graphite. This part is actually a graphite stone, and um, that's a very oily stone, and that's why it smudges so well. So, this is the third way that you are going to make your doodle that you are doing um, appear three-dimensional. So I, my finger doesn't have a lot of graphite on it, but as I progress, you'll see that my fingertip will get dirtier and dirtier. And what I'm going to do with this eraser is erase a line down the middle to create a highlight. You can also do something fun and decorate. Since this is a doodle, nothing serious here. Just have fun. Decorate the top of your doodle. So that's one way. Way. Um, we can create shading is if you have drawing pencils this is a 4b drawing pencil um, and I'm going to use this pencil and a blending stick a blending stick is just rolled up paper and it helps you smudge instead of using your finger you're going to use this to get into all the little corners and a kneadable eraser. So this is my kneaded eraser. Um, 
and so the drawing pencil just has more graphite in it so it smudges easier the especially a drawing pencil that says b the b number b over here see this is 4b stands for blackness um, or boldness um, it just has a little more graphite especially made for uh, drawing and creating nice dark tones so i'll show you what i mean so i just colored the edges of my cylinder the sides and now i'm going to take the blending stick and smudge it like this so if you have a blending stick this is the best time to use it Smudge it along and go along the lines and the edges. Make sure you don't leave any white spaces, and you can also go down the middle. But I'm going, I'm not pressing as hard in the middle because I want the middle to be a little bit lighter. So, do you notice how much darker this is? compared to the first cylinder that I drew. And I'm gonna go back into it. And this is the fun thing about a kneaded eraser, is that you can shape it and bring back a little bit of a highlight in the middle. That's how a kneaded eraser works. And we're going to do something inside here. Just create some kind of fun texture. With this project, it's a doodle. It has it's just a fun design. There is no meaning in it except that it is a design. And um, you basically are going to work from your imaginations. So a three-dimensional doodle. You'll notice that when I do the shading on the side of the cylinder, I am not shading it like that. I'm keeping my lines pretty close together so that when you blend the graphite, uh, you don't have to do that much work. Um, because, and I'm not pressing very hard on the pencil either. Just a little light press like this and keep the lines pretty close together. And then blend it with your finger. If you want to, you can go back in and make the line, the edge, a little bit darker, just so that it shows up. It gives it a little more definition like this and maybe do a little bit a little curved line underneath the the top so you emphasize the curvature over here give it a good rub use your eraser to find your highlight and it doesn't have to be one continuous line, it could just be a little bit of a highlight like that, okay? 